Santiago Mendes. Alyssa Chavez. Annalise Molina. It's Adrian Gonzalez. It's Brianna Rodriguez. Cristal Madera. Efren Dominguez by Call Me Ed. Andrew Lerma. Yvonne Torres. Faith. Santiago Baca. I'm Aaron. What I think grit is, is a motivation that when you um, lose or don't do something good, you still try your best. Grit is an ability to overcome challenges in life. What I mean um, what I mean by this is when a challenge comes, you don't give up, you keep trying until you solve it. Um, one reason you need grit is because if you don't have it, you'll have a really hard time in life. Um, another reason you need grit is because if you don't have it, you won't be successful. Grit is when you try to be positive and grit is not giving up on difficult tasks. Grit is the ability to come come over something challenging in life. Grit is not not to give giving up and grit is important because it shows you won't give up and you will try again. I know this because I have had times when I really needed grit. Grit is also also means to have hope in yourself. I know this because I felt that way before. Okay, grit is um, being able to overcome challenges. Like it's also like getting stepping out of your comfort zone. Uh, other ways to use grit is like, uh, like, uh, like overcoming challenges. And um, like an example of grit is like. Like if you don't have good grades and you want to get them higher, so then you uh you try your best and never give up. It Grit means to overcome something that was hard, even though you wanted to give up, you kept trying. It is the ability to overcome a challenge. Grit is like stepping out of your com comfort zone and doing like doing new th new things to overcome them. And grit is important. It's important to your, to your life because it's it's like um, a thing you have to have with you. An example of grit that happened to me this year was when I had to come to school because I was just going to go to Truman with all my friends and I already knew where everything was because we had a tour before the end of the year. So I could have just gone over there with my friends, but I came here, I didn't know anybody, or knew the school. I had to, I was kind of shy, well I still am, and it was kind of hard for me to make new friends. My example for grit is the challenge was my grandmother. The reason I picked this was be, like I said, the, I was really close to her. Also when I found out the news about her passing away, I didn't know what to do at all. Also, it was challenging moving to this wonderful school. The reason is because I didn't know anyone here. My baby brother, he's almost two. He's he's sick with like his ear and his throat, and um, he's crying. He cries a lot because he's always sick, and my dad has to take care of him a lot. And so it's hard to do homework at uh, at home because there's a lot of noise, and um, and my dad's always stressed out. So it's hard um, for him to like help me or something. Because since I don't have anyone to help me, I could either like call my advisor or the teacher, and um, and you just have like have to get it done and stuff. Two examples. My first one is that um, I, in the beginning of the first quarter, I got um, all meets and some exceeds, and I wanted all exceeds. So the next quarter, I worked really hard to. Um, bump up my meets to an exceeds and by the end of the second quarter I got exceeds in all five cl five classes. I had a second way of using grit. So in the in fifth grade I didn't like reading so when I came over here I still didn't like reading but in the humanities I had Mr. Ponce and we had to read every night for um, homework and we had to read during specials in during school. So I, did, I had a hard time because I never liked reading, but he referenced me some books and I really started to love reading. And I kept trying and trying and finding more great books. My example of grit from this year is um, to try to make new friends because it was really hard for me because I thought I wouldn't know nobody and that they weren't going to want to be my friend and stuff like that. 
because like, I'm a really shy person, but even though I was shy, I still made new friends, and I have a lot of friends now, and just keep trying. An example of grit is when I was in, ba in a basketball game, and I shot the ball, and I made it. The problem was that I, I had to overcome the laughter because it was the wrong side and I had to shoot it and so I so the other team got point and so I had to overcome the laughter and people were laughing at me. Um well it was pretty now I just use it as a joke and so I kinda laugh at it at it too when people tell me it and so I I laugh at it and so I thought I thought it was pretty funny but but I, I did have to use gray because it kind of feels bad when, when you did something wrong and people laugh at you. So um, one example of how I used grit this year is by joining sports. And it shows grit because last year in school I wouldn't join in any sports, the reason being because I thought they were boring and scary. Um, but this year I'm actually joining a lot of sports and I, I actually figured out I was really good at them. Um, this shows grit because the reason I wouldn't play sports is because I was afraid people would make fun of me if I wasn't good at them. Um, so yeah, then I decided I would um, put that fear aside and join basketball because that was my favorite sport. And now I'm telling you readers this because I want you to let you know that if you put your mind to it, um, you can accomplish pretty much anything you want. This year, um, I was on the, I was starting. Um, basketball and I was first string point guard and while well, I broke my leg and I still went to all the practices and I still played and we we went through a lot and we lost a few games and we won at least one or two games. Okay so I have used great by coming to the school. I had almost no friends and my best friends had to go to a different school and I overcame this obstacle because over the days, I had many friends, and I like the school now, and I still talk to my other friends in different schools. One example of great that I've had this year is that me and my friend Leslie don't have that much in common, and that's affecting my relationship. I use grit because when I when I want to leave my uh, my old school with my new friends, well, my old friend, but my best friends. Um, it was very hard to leave them because I've been with them for, for a very long time. I used grade by when I got a crappy grade on my science test. I took, I studied and took it again and I got a exceed. I think it is important to have grit because without grit, you then you wouldn't have like, you wouldn't be where you're at in life. So like, um, I wouldn't be here at this wonderful school if I didn't have grit. And it would, and it took grit to understand it will be okay for my from when my grandmother my grandmother passed away and I also had grit by moving to the school and making new friends in your job you're gonna have um, tasks that you need you're gonna need grit because um, they some of them are gonna be hard and you do, you're not gonna want to do them but you're gonna have to like be able to like have enough money to do things that you need to do for yourself, and so you're gonna have to have a job and do that stuff that you need to do. I think you're in the future because if I, like, like when I'm in the like in college, I I might not. It might be difficult to do something, but like I know I can do it if I keep using grit and I keep giving myself pos positive talk about myself and. Just keep trying. Because I might have to move grades again, which might mean to like go to a different school. And I might get lost or not know anybody. And also, I might have to spend all night working on projects and stuff like that that I'm going to have to do for the next day. That are going to be due for the next day. So I might have to use grit for that. I think what I will need, I will need grit in the future well, I know I will need grit in the future because, like, in my example, if I wouldn't use grit, I wouldn't have figured I'm good at sports. This could also go for jobs. An example would be, like, I want to be a doctor when I grow up. I know it's going to be scary, but I'm going to need to use grit so I could accomplish my goal. 
Without grit, I won't be able to accomplish any of my goals. I do need grit in the future because, like, like um, I told you, you have you have a lot of problems in life, and so to overcome them, hmm, you have you need to have grit. Uh, like a big conflict, you, you could have a big conflict in your life, and you can't overcome it, and you always try to fix it, and nothing happens. So you just you gonna need. You gonna have, you gonna need to have great to like to forget the person and the conflict you had. Well, how I'm have to use grit is like getting grit to like do all, do all of our assignments, essays, and like this year I, um I met I had a few not yet in my classes, so I I got all those caught up and I got to move on. Because I wanna become a doctor when I grow up, so I'll need grit to be able to be in school for a long time. I'm gonna need the grit for the future to get my degree and I just wanna get a family for and be a good dad. Uh, for college because I hear they have a lot of homework and it's really hard. I need grit for the future because when I go to different schools I may not know, I haven't no friends there and maybe in the future I will meet new people and without grit I wouldn't have come to SBA and I need grit to stay in school and I'll need grit in the future because whenever I'm older, I need to go to school. And then if I just am having a bad day, I'll have grit to keep moving. So uh, for me, uh, school is really important to me. So I'm gonna use grit to finish school and finish college, and to get good grades so I can get into a good college. And um, also, like after school, I still need a good job. So after I finish college, I need a good job. So I'm gonna use grit to find good jobs 